Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. So Ron Rivera made the decision to start Sam Howell at quarterback for the Washington Commanders in the last game of the season against the Dallas Cowboys. Now welcome everybody to the Washington Commanders Maniacs channel. This channel is dedicated to the Washington Commanders football team and we try to bring to you entertainment news whatever we can give to you we're going to give to you so please consider subscribing to this channel and when you do make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release so sam howes the commander's fifth round draft pick out of the university of north carolina and many felt that Howe was a still of the draft well now it's Howe's chance to prove it and he will definitely try to prove it on Sunday. Now, in his interview, um, his press conference yesterday, he said he didn't have anything to prove necessarily to the the people, meaning the fans, but just basically to prove to himself and maybe to his family and to his teammates that he can be out there, that he's worthy to be out there and to play. So let's see what, what Sam Howell can do. He's going to... At least he says he's going to take advantage of this opportunity, and I'm glad that he is. Um, but there are definitely reasons for and against starting Sam Howell in this game. Let's talk the reasons for starting Sam Howell in this game. Excuse me. <coughs> Again, I have been sick, so I am trying to get through this video here. So the reasons for starting Sam Howell. Uh, Ron Rivera needs to find out, obviously, what he has in this fifth round draft pick you can't find anything out about sam howell while he is holding the clipboard and sitting on the sidelines you just can't you gotta get him out there you gotta get some legs under him you gotta see what he has you gotta check out his arm you gotta check out his decision making abilities you just gotta know what he's gonna do in a real live regular season game especially a game against the dallas cowboys so we got to find out if he's going to be a guy who's going to be pushing for that QB1 position next year or if he's you know, at least going to be pushing for the top backup spot next year. So, you know, the commanders, they need to see what Sam Howell is going to do in this game because this is definitely going to affect what they do in the offseason. And, you know... I really believe that this is going to have some sort of effect on what their search is for the quarterback one of 2023. Now, secondly, the commanders have nothing to play for, right? They had, they were knocked out of the playoffs last week. Thanks to an improbable loss to the Cleveland Browns. And also thanks to the Green Bay Packers just decimating the Minnesota Vikings last week. So there's absolutely no reason for Washington to start Carson Wentz, obviously. We know that he's no longer going to be in Washington. Um, and there's really no reason to look at Taylor Heineke in this game. I mean, we know that Taylor Heineke, we know what we got with Taylor Heineke. And we know that putting Taylor Heineke in, he could possibly win this game for us, but... What does winning this game really do for us? Other than bragging rights, I, I, I realize, I do realize the mental and the emotional part of this, of winning this game, it takes some positivity into the offseason. I understand that. But right now, honestly, losing the game helps the commanders out a lot more in terms of of draft positions and things like that. Now, I'm not saying that they should lose this game or try to lose this game, but just keep in mind that, you know, this is not a game that they should necessarily hang their heads down low if they do lose this game because, in the end, I don't think it's going to really matter as much. This is me talking now. If I'm a player on the team, it probably means a hundred times more to them to be, you know, eight, eight and one as opposed to seven, nine and one. But 
in the grand screen scheme of things, it's not going to make a lot of difference. Uh, but it could make a lot of difference come draft time. So that's one thing to think about. Now, what are the reasons not to play Sam Howell? Well, the Dallas Cowboys would not be resting their starters. They still have the division to play for, and they actually still have a chance to possibly get that number one seed in the NFC conference. So they have a lot to play for. And as Logan Paulson stated on the Take Commanders podcast, he had heard from inside sources that he didn't think that Hal was necessarily ready. And if that's true and Sam Hal isn't ready, then sending him out there to face the Dallas Cowboys defense led by Micah Parsons, I mean, that could be a major setback in the development of house confidence just this overall development as an nfl quarterback i mean we've seen this in the past at least i have you know you got to go back maybe um to to the uh, steve spurrier years and and some of the developments of of the quarterbacks back then um but hey you know I'm torn on this because, in my opinion, I really think that this is kind of a Hail Mary for Ron Rivera. And honestly, I don't think this was really Ron Rivera's decision. Um, I think he had already made up his mind that, you know what, I am going to start Taylor Heineke. I'm going to try to win this football game because it means a lot to me to be 8-8-1 as opposed to 7-9-1. But Taylor Heineke was the one who said, you know what, it doesn't mean anything for me to start this game. I've, I think I've already pretty much proven that I can play in this league. I, I think I've already proven that you can win football games with me. Why not give Sam Howell a chance? It's one game, it's in a meaningless game with us. Give him a chance. So, Taylor, I mean, yeah, Taylor Heineke, he basically campaigned to have Sam Howe start. Now, what does that say about Taylor Heineke? Number one, I think it says he's a team player. You know, he's looking out for his players. And he's looking at this guy. He knows that Carson Wentz is not going to be there next year. He knows, he knows there's an outside chance he may not be there next year. So if that's the case, why should he play? You know, why should he play in the game that, number one, he could get hurt in? So give it to Sam Howe. Let's see what he can do because moving forward, Sam Howe could be the man next year. And again, maybe Sam Howe isn't even on the team next year. We don't know. But we don't know until we see him play. And to have somebody else, a player, come to the coach and say, Coach, this is not the right decision starting me. You need to start this other guy. There's no reason to play me in this game, this meaningless game. And so the coach says, okay. What does that say about the coach? I think Ron Rivera... I love the guy, but I think he is starting to lose sight of... I think he's starting to lose the the locker, honestly. I think they respect him. I really do. But I think in terms of a coach, I think that he has made so many gaffes and bad decisions. I think he's done enough to get himself fired. And he may step down, possibly, after this game. I don't know. It could possibly be. Because he sees we got ownership, an ownership change coming in very soon. So, if that happens, um, now, it's likely that that doesn't get solidified until March because the other owners have to vote on it. But... Even if he was safe to come back and coach in his fourth season, knowing that 
there's likelihood that you're going to have three seasons of seven wins and only one season of a improbable playoff run, do you really think that he is looking at this team, you know, with confidence? He was asked, Ron Rivera was asked if if he thought that this team had made that step forward, and he said he thought they did. We're not seeing that on on the on the field. So I don't know what he's seeing, but we're not seeing it. Let me know in the comments what you think on all of that. Uh, if you like this video, please, please give it a like. Uh, it helps the algorithm. It helps to get this video out to other people. Uh, my, my YouTube channel is taking a hit. Um, I am getting, I'm lucky if I'm getting half the views that I used to get. And so please, please help me out. At least like this video. Um, comment, um, comment on, on what you think about the Sam Howell stuff and, and Ron Rivera. Let's just, uh, well, let's just go into the next video. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.